everyone, this is Eileen from Eileen Stuffs and today we are going to be working our budget for my August 1st paycheck which is going to cover the period from August 1st to August 15th. If you are new to my channel, welcome and if you are returning, welcome back. I am a cash budgeter and stuffer here on YouTube. I am really working on paying off debt and also trying to save and build up sinking funds. There isn't too much to say right now, I'm ready to just get into the budget. Happy August to all the Leo babies out there. I am a Leo baby, so it is our season and hopefully things will be good for us because we rock. I do have notes here. Our paycheck August 1st was $2,429.25 and my ex gave me his money for the month since he lives in a separate part of the house and he his part was $1,038.33 so that covers his bills for the month. We have 2429.25 plus 1038.33. Total for the budget is $3,467.58. I have to take out my estimated taxes. If I was to do 20%, it would be about $450. And I think that is what I'm going to do. So we have 3,467.58. I will minus out my estimated taxes. So that brings me down to $3,017.58. I do have some leftover miscellaneous money in the bank of $168.95. I will add that to this because that we are gonna use that for this budget as we always do. So my total I'm working with is $3,186.53. All right. We're going to go through line by line and get this 3,186 down to zero since we are zero based budgeting. <laughs> and as I said in my last budget video, I am claiming that term now because I'm trying not to be afraid of this process anymore and embrace it more. Rent. The total is 132041. That brings me down to $1,866.12. I'm trying to write meter so it's easier to see, but it's just hard. So hopefully you can read these numbers. If not, I'm sorry. I just, I don't think I can switch to a digital planner. I'm such a paper and pencil. I'm a really old fashioned kind of girl, including doing something like this. So I'll just, I'll try to be neat. All right, we have electric, which is 102.37. That brings us down to $1,763.75. Here, maybe if I tilt that a little, I can write better. Gas was only 21.44, not so bad. We have $1,742.31. Our water bill was 75.17. So now we have 1,667.14. I said this in another video that I've started paying my phone bill with my first paycheck since my mid-month paycheck now has the car payment. We are gonna do the phone here still. And if it doesn't work, I'll just throw it back to the 15th. It's $1,540.29. Internet comes out automatically second half of the month. I don't do that one. Now on the first paycheck and the last big thing is our health insurance, which is 422.10. And that brings me down to $1,118.19. I don't know why I'm second guessing myself. I'm going to really quickly redo this and make sure my numbers are right. And I will be right back. Hey, I am back. And that is right. We have... $1,118.19. So my, oh, I forgot to put, my furniture credit card bill is 30 a month right now. That, so that will bring us down to $1,088.19. I do have some easy pays. Oh, these things I need to get rid of. If I end up with some extra cash, I kind of just want to go through these and pay them off at once. That would feel good. It's 93.16. That brings me down to $995.03. I have to minus out the $24 because that is from my ex's check for the internet bill. So I want to just kind of take that out of the picture because I that needs to stay in the bank for next time. 
So I am left with $971.03 of my own money, which is pretty cool. It's a little, is that what about what I had last time around this point? I had 800. Okay, so I'm a little ahead. What about this time? I had 800. Okay, well, yeah, I guess we're up like about 100 bucks. That's nice. Gas. I do need gas in my car. My car is just under a quarter of a tank. I usually take out 77, but I think I'm only going to take out 60 because, like I said, I still have a quarter of a tank. But I'll fill up 60. That should get me back up to full. And that brings me down to 911 and 3. My violin rental. So if my violin rental is going to come out at the beginning of the month. It was like $27 and then tax. And then I paid for insurance because knowing me, it's good to have the insurance was only like four bucks. So I think with the tax and everything, it came out to about $33 and some change. I'm just going to round it up to 34. That will bring me to 877 and three. Okay. My Nelnet student loan is starting. One of them is starting this month and the rest start in September unless they forbear the loans again, but I haven't heard anything. But I do have to account for that. And I'm saying that ahead of time, I put these other ones there first. I'm gonna link my last video below when I did my six month update and looked at my debt. And I said, I'm gonna switch my focus a little and really focus on getting that thousand dollar emergency fund that Dave Ramsey so into talking about. And I was going to try to squirrel away money from each paycheck to put in that savings account. So I guess I'm wondering if I should put it online or if I should just take out extra money and cash stuff it in my emergency fund folder. So that's what that line was for. I th that's why I had a question mark. I'm leaning towards trying to stuff it in my envelope for now. So I guess I'll take that one out. This was also from an extra. So Snowball. Big credit, extra money. So this would be a snowball payment. If you're new, I was doing a snowball payment on this furniture credit card, but I have a credit card that is over $6,000. The monthly payments were almost $200 a month. I'm trying to get that monthly payment down so that it doesn't take so much of my paycheck. So I have actually stopped the snowball on this one. This one's only at $700 now, and I've switched it to start snowballing the big credit card. And I, that one I pay in the middle of the month. So the first of the paycheck would be throwing extra. And I do, I think. So my right now, my snowball money I have is, is it $76 or $78? I always forget. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to snowball $80 on that big credit card payment. That brings me down to $797.03. And then, like I said, I have my student, my first student loan payment coming back, which is going to be $86.58. So that brings me down to $710.45, which is still pretty good. All my, my needs have been met. And yeah, got violin. I, got, I don't know why I'm like feeling like, shouldn't I have less by now? But I got my gas. I got my violin. I got a debt snowball in there. I got my student loan in there. I got my phone in there. All right. I guess that's where we're at. I'm trying to figure out what to leave in the bank. Okay. And this is where I get really sloppy. So I'm going to try to make this nice. I'm debating whether I want to leave 300 in the bank or 400 in the bank, but I've been leaving about 300 in the bank and that serves me well since everything else is accounted for already. So I'm going to stay with that. If I leave 300, so my cash out for stuffing then is go, wow, it's going to, oh wait, that change. Okay. 345. Let me do this again. 7, 10, 45 minus leave 345 in the bank. That gives me $410 for cash stuffing, which is awesome. All right. The next part is we're going to, uh oh, we're going to go through the envelopes and divvy up the money. I'm going to write everything out. I will be right back. All right, you guys, I am back. As I was doing this, I realized that I forgot something very important, which is it's my mom's birthday in August. It's my niece's birthday in August and my great niece's birthday. 
how to alter this. I do have 300 in the bank. I guess I could say 100 of this. I usually try to give really generous birthday gifts, but uh, I don't know, that might be kind of hard right now. However, my mom's is in toward the end of the, oh, I, I at least have to get her a card. I can always like hold off on my mom for my next paycheck, but the other two. So I guess what I'm going to say is I'm going to minus about $80 for the birth, to at least get cards and gifts, you know, something small. So if I take out 80 from what I have left over the 345, that would mean that my rollover should be at about 220.45. And then I'll try to stick to the 80, which means that um, next paycheck I'll have to save some money to buy my mom something. All right, but at least we got my niece and my great niece in there. $410. And let's go ahead and divvy up this money. To start, um, I know I need some things for the home, like laundry soap, toilet paper, you know, not nothing like exciting, but I want to include that into my bill. I have, I'm thinking I'm gonna take out about 170 to cover me for food and some of the household items I need, which brings me, ooh, that took away that much, $240. Personal. I can't think of anything I need right now. I'll just put zero here and I'll give myself more for miscellaneous since I really can't think. Going out, I'm going to leave out 30, I guess. That brings me down to 210. Hobby. So if you notice, I did not have my violin lessons on here. That is because I've actually paid already. I'm ahead like two lessons in payment. I've paid 60 bucks for two lessons then. So my next two weeks of lessons are already accounted for. I didn't really need to take out money for this check. I'll take it out on my next check though. So I don't have any more for this time because I am I'm doing okay with that. My car doesn't really need anything. It's doing pretty good other than gas, which I've already accounted for. So I think I'll leave, um, I think I'm gonna do 20 for miscellaneous this time, just in case something comes up. I don't know, something's just telling me leave 20. And I want to see, where am I usually at? Well, I'm down to 190. Where am I usually at with? Uh, here I was at 123. And then I was at 111. Okay, so I'm still ahead with my, <laughs> that's great. All right, so we have $190 for stuffing. Again, black binder, most important. Debt, I'm going to go ahead and give debt 15. That brings me down to $175 left. Bills, I'll throw in a 10. That's $165. Medical, I need to build that back up again. I'll give it a 10. So we have $155. Aha, emergency fund. So this is the one I'm trying to beef up more. I'm going to go ahead. I am going to throw in 20 this time. And working towards that goal of $1,000. So that brings us down to $135. Sorry, if you just saw that, the lights just went on and off for some weird reason. Savings, I'll, go, I'll do a 10. That's $125. Student loans, we're going to go down to 5 Retire, I'm going to give it a 5 this time. $115. Invest. I mean, right now, invest really isn't the most important thing. I'll give it 112 and home. That is important, although it just kind of gets, I'll give it three as well. It just gets tossed aside. We have $109 left in our budget. And I do want to throw a good chunk in challenges. So let's go and prioritize this. Beauty, I'll throw it two. Let's give it, I guess I'll throw it some bones. 107, same thing with clothing. I'll give it four. Brings us to 103, shopping, I'll do two, I guess, 101. Violin, I'm going to throw 10 into, that's 91. Tarot, I'm gonna throw it a couple of dollars just cause it never gets anything, that's 89. YouTube as well, I ring light, we need to get a ring light here. I think I'm going to throw in eight try to buy, try to save up money for a ring light, 81. Giving is going to get four. And we have $77 left. 
Rollover is not included. Riley needs some money. I'm going to give her 10. She's pretty good on medicine, but she's going to need it, I think, at the end of August. So try to get that much as I can in there to help cover that cost. That brings me to 67. And Sadie, we're going to give her two. She was unstuffed recently for her birthday. Okay, so we're down to 65. Gifts. I'm just going to give it two. And 63. Poor Christmas. I guess I'll give it five. That's 58. My car, I want to give it... Um, I guess I'll give it five. 53. OT, four dollars. That brings me to $49. Now I'm already under, in my head I had thought $50 I wanted to, to get to for challenges and I'm going under, but it's okay. House wants just, that's like for decorating and I've kind of given up on that. <laughs> Travel, I'm gonna give it to, that is 47. Family, I will give five, that's 42. Secret stash. I'll give five, which is 37. And then whoops, I'll give five, which only leaves $32 for challenges, which is under what I was hoping to do. Bummer. Well, it, it's more than what I did. I Wait. It is more than what I've done in the past couple ones, I guess. But I'm going to reassess. So I debt is getting a lot. If I only give debt 10, I could have an extra five. But the reason why I'm stuffing debt more is because I'm my the couple the next couple of paychecks are going to include the weeks I was sick. So I just want to have that money there. You know, it's fine. I'm just going to leave it. And violin is, is a lot. I give a lot to violin, but that's because I'm trying to save up to buy an instrument. $20 again, we talked about that. So, you know, and I know this is a lot in my wallet, but... Okay, it's okay. We'll just do this. Who knows, maybe I'll end up with some rollover money from my wallet and then I'll always have the rollover to throw towards. But this is what it is looking like for uh, for this paycheck. Once I minus out my 32, we have our zero balance. So we have accounted for every dollar here. For our paycheck, this budget, I'm going to make my denomination sheet and I will be right back. Okay guys, I am back. And <laughs> this is a little smushed. I thought I was going to run out of room, so I smushed everything. And then, yeah, not very easy to read. And I officially annoyed myself. I think I'm going to make it a priority this weekend to get these reusable denomination sheet done. Because I don't think I can take this anymore. <laughs> All right, we are going to figure out what we need to grab from the bank. And again, this should total out when all is said and done to $410. So Holman Groceries is getting 170. I'll do 250s. Huh. I just, I know I'm gonna end up going to two store. I don't know if that really matters though. So I do 250s, then 220s. That's 140. Maybe 320s, 160 and a 10. Yeah, so 250s, 320s and a 10. And that is my 170 going out. I'll give it a 20, uh, a 20 and a 10. I better watch out because I'm going to miscellaneous. We'll get a 20 debt gets a 10 and a five bills. We'll get a 10 medical is 10 emergency fund is 20 savings is a 10 student loans, five retire five, invest three, home three, beauty is two, clothing is four, shopping is two, violin is a 10. Oh, did I even write violin on here? No. Okay, this is a mess. Bummer. Violin. <laughs> That's really messy, guys. I'm sorry. Violin gets a 10. YouTube gets eight, so five, six, seven, eight. And tarot, I already counted for it because I, I looks like I mixed these two up. 
Okay. Giving for Riley 10, Sadie 2. Gifts 2, Christmas 5, Car 5, OT 4, Travel 2, Family 5, Secret Stash 5, Whoops 5, $32 for challenges. I think just so I can divide the money up a little bit easier. I don't know if I should do a 20, a 10, and two ones, or just three tens. And that way I can, well, maybe get some fives in there. So maybe I'll do two tens, two fives, and two ones. So that would be 20, 32. Yeah. I don't know why I put it down there. Okay. Whoa. A little bit messy today. I mean, not that that's different. And I, again, I still don't have white out. So it's just, mm. I tried so hard to be neater today and it's almost like it made me messier. <laughs> Let's look and see what we have. We are going to end up with two 50s, one, two, three, four, five, six 20s, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tens, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven fives, and three, six, eight, twelve, fourteen, seventeen, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-four. 26, 28, 30, 32 ones. All right, the final test is does this add up to what we need it to, which is 410. The 250s is 100. 620s, 120. 10 tens is 100. 11 fives. Ooh, usually I divide that in half, but how do you divide that in half? Because it's an odd number. I have, I know, I want to say, isn't 11 times 5, 55? I mean, this, why is this so hard, Eileen? Yeah, I should know that. So 320 plus 55. I mean, I guess I did know it, but it took a minute. And 32, please give me 410. Whoa. That gives me 407. 32 plus 55 plus 100. And 120 and 100. Oh, my brain hurts. Why am I coming out to 107? I know this is because everything is so messy. I must have counted something wrong. I'm going to double check this real quick and I'll be right back. I thought that this too for tarot counted, but it looks like it didn't because that is actually, I have a two for beauty, a two for shopping, and then I was missing another two, which was the one for tarot. So that's what happened. So then this should be 35, and that will bring me, I believe, to 410. Sorry, guys. I always try not to make mistakes, and it's like every video, something happens. 35 plus 55, 100, and 120, and another 100. We have 410. All right, that looks good. Now we have to make our little denomination sheet. Today we have 410. So we have this many ones, fives, tens. Oh, follow up. If you saw my condensing video, I talked about how many ones I had and how I was gonna go into the bank in person and I was kind of worried they were gonna wonder. And I went in to deposit it and I was like, I just want to deposit money. I'm laughing because his face, he was like, oh, okay. And then I took out the like wad of money and put it on the counter. And <laughs> you could tell that the guy was like, was not expecting that. His eyes got like big. I mean, granted it was mostly ones, but it just looked like, at, you could have seen it in person. I mean, the stack was like this. So it was like really tall. His face when I took out that money and put it on the counter was priceless. And then I had to be like, oh, don't worry. It's mostly ones. <laughs> but that was actually a really fun moment. I wish someone would have been there with me to appreciate it because it was just one of those moments that you really don't want to like, you really want someone else to share with you. All right, you guys, I guess that's it for this video. We are going to keep on plugging along. Thank you guys so much for watching. Next time we will stuff this money. I will see you in my next video. Bye.